Hello everyone, and welcome to Lesson 3 of Xcode Tips. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to find or change the company name in Xcode. So, um, if you don't really know what I'm talking about, um, when you create a new class, like an Objective-C class in Objective-C, you'll notice that it gives you a stream of comments that kind of um, just show you your company and you can uh, say what the class does, etc. But they give you a bunch of de default comments, and in those comments, it lists your company name. And if you don't have one, it leaves you with this sort of ugly default. Uh, but you can, it basically, I'm just going to show you how you can change that default into whatever you want. So um, when you're working with Objective C, you all often make classes, and to do that, you can either go to File, New File, or you can go to the Action button, Add new file. Then the new file palette opens up and you can choose Objective-C class for, uh, it doesn't really matter what uh, what you're using, but anyway, when you can choose Objective-C class, just hit next, and I'm going to call this original, and if you create the original.h file, and hit next for that, and in the original.h file you'll see that it leaves this stream of comments that basically kind of outline what um, you know, just basic information about this class. And here it gives the my company name. Now there's always questions of how to change this company name. There's not really a defined place in Xcode that shows you where to change this. And it always is a question for some people of how to get this to, to be whatever you want. And um, some people point you towards terminal commands, but I've found a super easy way, and I'm sure many other people have found it as well, but um, the terminal commands seem more confusing than anything, and there's an extremely easy way to change this, and it's all to do with address book. So uh, every Mac comes with address book, and address book, uh, you have your own, uh, basically every time you create a new account, it will have that account card created, and that's you, and that's the card that it works off of. So this address book card is uh, the card that is uh, made when you create a new account, and it's the me card, or uh, basically it's the one that your whole account is based off. So all your important information is in this card. So if you go ahead and open address book, and you find your card, when you go to edit your card, at the bottom, you just hit edit, and at the top, it will show company. And all you have to do is change this company name. So I could call this whatever I want, and obviously I don't have a company called Apple Prog, but I could call it that if I wanted to. And all I'd have to do is uh, hit the edit button again to save the work, and there we go. So now my company is Apple Prog, and now that changes my company name. So now if I go to create a new file, like I did before, Objective-C class, next, and I'll say new. And as you can see now, the original, where in our original file it said my company name, now in the new file, now that I've changed the company name, it has Apple Prog. And you can change this to whatever you want. Um, I mean, you don't even have to have a company, but if you just want to make it something cool, then you can just change the company name in your address book me, uh, me section, and uh, yeah, so that just changes the company, and uh, it's a nice thing to know so that you uh, don't always have to change the my company name part. part. So anyway, this was just a quick tip on how to change the company name in Xcode. I'll see you next tutorial.